Yeah, okay, so we've got a side quest here in Couchland. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, something that commonly happens when you create a new template. <laughs> I've, got a, I've, got a, I've got a loud cat. Here we go. So in um, I just made a template, events.php. It's clonable. Now, by default, um, it's clonable pages, clonable templates. They're going to have this um, um, example page, this default page. Um, now, in the couch docs, it says, and, and right here, I mean, it says, please change this title. Um, I don't think that's actually a good practice um, because let's, like, watch this. Okay, so let's, this is an events thing. Let's say this is like a festival event, right? Um, now, one-time event, it happens on August 25th. We're good. Here we go. All right, so now that's great, but if I... Um, delete this, watch what happens. We need a default page. Couch, Couch needs a default page here. And so if you delete the default page, it'll regenerate a new page. And this can be um, upsetting if you are, uh, you know, like you've got a blog, let's say, and it's live. And, and then your site client, you know, is like, oh, change default page why well, i think i will here we go here's blog article right if this was like a blog article uh template so but then they're like oh later on they're going to delete that page because maybe they you know they're like i don't like that that post anymore that first post maybe it's like three years in and they're like that first post is so embarrassing let me let me delete it and so they delete it and and then when it's deleted it gets refilled with this right and now on their blog on their live site instead of having that embarrassing old you know blog post now they have this embarrassing default page for events.php file <laughs> so um we can avoid this for our clients so how we do that is uh Couch has this, this thing, um, if you're inside the template tag here, um, I usually put mine at the bottom here. It's called config uh, list view, right? This is a tag that we can use inside of the template tag. So config list view. And um, one of, you know, it's, you can either wrap it and you can, you can do things that are interesting if you if you wrap it like this, um, but for this case we're gonna self close it. Um, so we need to exclude, right, a page. Now it's going you can you can say exclude from the list view anything that has a certain page name. So instead of doing something like, okay, well, let me just copy this and paste it over here, right? That's not not ideal. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you could automate this actually, or you could be like, like maybe set, um, you, you'd, you'd have to figure out some way of getting the, the page name and then like inserting it right here you could do it that way, maybe. I usually do it like this. I usually say default, and then I make sure I go in and I change that to default. All right. The other thing you need to do here. Okay, so now it's it's kind of primed here to exclude it if it's called default. The other thing you need to do here, though, is you need to actually unpublish it. Because um, even though you're excluding it here in the admin panel, you're not going to exclude it, uh, you know, if you've got, if you're looping through those pages on um, a front end view. Okay. So, um, so yeah, basically just, just take care of those two things, name it default and unpublish it. Make sure that you have a config list view 
uh, you can self-close it here and make sure it says exclude equals default. And, and then you'll be good to go. Watch this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to view this page so that it actually picks up this change. And when I click save and we go back, it's gone. Okay. So this is how you should set it up for your clients is, um, don't, don't make them do all that. Right. Um, and this will save them from, uh, the embarrassment of having a default page, uh, show up whenever they delete like a, their first post, let's say. Okay. So that's, that's basically it. Oh, and one more bonus tip. Um, if you say searchable equals one, it will automatically, I'm going to view it to catch a change. It will automatically add a search bar for all the, all the items down there. So it'll search anything that has more than uh, three characters. So if you search for more like that, um, because of like database um, technical stuff, long story, I guess, um, it won't pick it up. Um, there's a way that you can get around that if you dig around in the couch forum, uh, couchcms.com slash forum, All right? Um, but by default, it's not going to search for anything that has three characters or less. So if you have more than three characters, then you can uh, search for any of them and they'll filter it. So yeah, that's that's it. How to, how to what are we going to call this video? So how to uh, get rid of the default page in Couch uh, CMS. There you go.